and welcome to the first episode of my makeover series. I'm really excited for this series because I want to give our whole apartment a fresh makeover and just make it feel more like home, more like our personal space and mainly just an apartment that I'm excited to come home to. So even though this is a studio apartment and so everything is in one, our kitchen is in our bedroom slash living room slash office, I'm still going to separate it into sections. So today we are starting with the kitchen area. I'm so excited. My inspiration for the kitchen area is kind of like rustic Tuscany house meets Berlin artsy bohemian apartment and then with personal touches of like our journey and our relationship and all of that. So let's change into my painting clothes and start painting. update so I painted everything I love it at first when you put such a different color on than it was before I always catch myself second-guessing is this the right decision is this the right color I love it it's such a warm feeling in here and it feels bigger for some reason organizing this shelf because I needed to try some things. Now, I did put our spices into this little basket for now, but... This is my parents' house. There is a closet where people put stuff that they don't want anymore. You can just take it for free. I love that closet. Go there every time I'm there and look if I find something cool. And last time, I found this. I have no idea what it is, if it is supposed to be a shelf or if there's something lacking and it was something different, I don't know. But I think it's really, really cute and I actually saw the same thing used online for about 20 bucks. So I saved 20 bucks. Um, I want to make a spice rack out of this because the size is perfect, you know. Um, it's a cute little shelf, not too big, but it does have enough space for the spices. So for the spices to not roll out, for the spices to not fall out of this, I bought this stick, really, really cheap. Um, I think I'm not going to stain it or anything because it's kind of the color of this shelf. I'm just going to glue it on here so that we have, you know, a little shelf. And then we can hang it up and put all of our spices in. darker wood tones and just like this rustic feeling in here so I got some eucalyptus for all throughout this apartment because it just smells really good it looks very pretty too and I think pairing these two together is going to look really pretty so I'm just going to try and adjust something and then hang it up have to take care of is this wall behind me because we have the spice rack here, we have a shelf here, we have the table and the coffee shelf and then we have you know a hanger and this cutting board but then this whole wall behind me is empty. God gifted this poster just said like Pachamama and then coffee from Peru. I 
Welcome to a new day in the kitchen and this is going to be the last day. I'm so excited to see everything come together and just decorate the space. This shelf is meant to be for our coffee equipment because Julio and I love coffee both. We love good coffee and we have so much coffee equipment and just books about coffee and food and I think it will be really pretty to place this here especially because the vibe of this kitchen is Italian rustic and these guys are from Italy originally so this will suit the whole vibe really well. I found this really pretty brass vase at a flea market. It could be straight out of this picture, you know? So I also love decorating with books, but books that we actually have read or want to read. So not just books that lay around as decor, but things that we really did read. So I picked out, first of all, those two books. One is about theater, and it's just about the 90s in Berlin in theater. The Road by Jack Kerouac. I just think this is kind of like this bohemian, Dolce Vita, careless lifestyle book. Then I have this book, um, it's about coffee and some other things. And last but not least, this book, which is about costume, it's about art history in a way. So I feel like it goes really well with this picture and just with this historic vibe. I think the shelf looks really pretty, but it is lacking something up here, I feel like. And so I just made this little kind of picture out of a coffee that we bought in Colombia, which is Juan Valdez. Great coffee, and especially this one. I love the design, and it just is like a sign of our traveling, of Julio's continent, Julio's culture. And yes, yeah, it's, it's just a sweet memory, so I'm going to hang it up as a little picture. of today's video. I hope you guys loved watching as much as I loved doing this whole makeover and filming it. I'm so happy with the outcome. All in all, this whole makeover cost me around 100 euros, including the paint, all the things that I thrifted, the nails, the drill. I used a lot of what we already had in here, which is great because this is a small apartment and we are students, so we can't afford to do a huge build-in and do all of these extra things. But I think just giving it a fresh coat of paint and adding some character such as the coffee shelf, the pictures that are very personal to us makes a huge difference and I really feel like this is such a warm place now. It just, 
it makes me so happy. Make sure you guys follow along and subscribe for the next couple of makeover videos. I'm going to continue with the living room slash bedroom slash office makeover. So that will be a huge makeover because it's the biggest part of our apartment. So make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you would have done differently and what you liked the way that I did it. I'm going to enjoy my coffee at this beautiful table with this beautiful picture and this whole amazing kitchen and see you guys in the next video. Bye.